My name is Jeremy Barris and I am the owner of APP EV Systems. We are up here in Bellingham, Washington and we manufacture battery electric vehicle conversion systems for classic vehicles such as this Porsche 911 behind us here. Okay, so what we have here today is a 1983 Porsche 911 SC. Internal combustion engine power was 188 horsepower, and we have converted this today to a battery electric vehicle with 400 volts, 73 kilowatt hours of capacity, and 250 miles of range. We have a max of 370 foot-pounds of torque, and the equivalent of 320 horsepower, which is 225 kilowatts from the electric motor. This makes this car way more exciting than the original to drive. So what have we done to convert this vehicle and to put this system into it? Well, we have a couple of special directions we've taken. One, we have scanned the whole car and we have created CAD models of the whole vehicle so that we could develop components, battery electric components, and put them in vehicle position and then design and manufacture our own carbon fiber subframes so that they just drop in to the existing vehicle OEM space and mounts. So you may ask, why did we go to the added expense of choosing carbon fiber? Well, we have a carbon fiber composites facility right here in Bellingham, Washington, which gave us a head start. On top of that, carbon fiber is structurally and torsionally as strong as steel and obviously is much lighter. So we were able to come up with carbon fiber subframes, which not only preserved the integrity of the body shell, but actually improved it. The battery packs that we manufacture here, we make them out of three different materials. We start with glass fiber and BMI resin to give high temperature resistance and chemical resistance in the case of a module meltdown. The next layer is then Kevlar fiber. Uh, this material is obviously for impact resistance in case of a crash. So it preserves the integrity of the battery case. And then we add a final number of layers of carbon fiber to give it the structural and torsional rigidity as well as the cosmetic finish. The key difference in our approach to making a battery electric vehicle conversion kit for a Porsche 911 is very simple. We preserve the Porsche driving experience because we keep the five-speed manual transaxle and the clutch. This is something that has not been done in this form with that sort of power before. We, we have obviously a very complex battery management system to manage the battery packs. We also have an AEM VCU 300 vehicle control unit. Using this vehicle control unit, we create a three-dimensional pedal map using electric motor RPM, pedal travel, and available torque. Now, remember, we have 370 foot-pounds of torque available from one RPM onwards. And if we apply it to a five-speed manual transaxle, we need to be very careful that we don't overstress and break the transmission. So there has been many, many months of in-vehicle calibration necessary to come up with different vehicle maps with very specific vehicle driving experiences. Number one, our first calibration is fairly straightforward. It establishes a base case and basically it mimics the performance of horsepower and torque through each of the five gears of the internal combustion engine of 188 horsepower. We then have a second map, which is our fun map, where we use all 370 foot-pounds of torque and 225 kilowatts, 320 horsepower equivalent. This is something you need to try and drive. It is like a turbocharged 911 rather than a naturally aspirated car. It's very fast. We, we obviously need to control temperatures in both the electric motor, the inverter, and in all of the battery packs. So we have two independent cooling loops, both of them controlled electronically. The battery management system controls obviously the battery packs and the vehicle control unit controls the electric motor and inverter loop. We have 
tried to incorporate automotive best practices into the various systems we've developed. All of our high voltage connectors are go-no-go -no -go gauges basically so you can't inadvertently put it in back to front and receive a 400 volt shock. We have also done complete FEA analysis, finite element analysis, on all of the subframes and on the battery pack casings which together with the fastener 20G D cell testing does give us a high level of confidence that our systems will be able to survive well in the case of an accident. This is a critical point because there are actually no standards applicable for electric vehicle systems on vehicles older than 2006. And seeing this is a 1983, we are in no man's land. So it was in our interest to do all of this testing proactively, although not required and not often done by other people making conversions. Okay, so what else is special about the system we've developed? How about a three day install? Today, if you go and have a car converted, it'll take somewhere between three and nine months. We guarantee, provided you've prepared the car prior to receiving our crate system, that you can install it and have it running in three days. Our engineers are doing it in just over a day today. But you know what? They've had a lot more practice as they've taken it in and out of the car during development between 10 and 15 times. What else is there about our kit which makes it different to other people's offerings? Well, for one, it's 100% complete. You have everything. You have the low voltage, new harnesses, the high voltage harness, the system pre-installed on the carbon fiber subframes, bench tested and half charged, and that is how it is supplied to the installer. There are over a thousand components in these kits and it really has everything you need to install without cutting or fabricating or modifying anything. It just drops in and is then fastened in the vehicle using the various fasteners supplied with the kit. There is nothing you need to add to it to do the install. The system we have has been installed in the vehicle, so it's very difficult to show you, obviously, the individual components. But we do have a separate video which shows in detail the crate engine kit as it is shipped to the installer, and we'll walk you through the individual components included in that kit to give you a complete overview of what this kit contains. We don't build cars, we build and supply complete systems so that you and your installer can do conversions to your own cars. We're there to support you and provide as much help if needed. We can be reached at appevsystems.com. You can leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If there's anything you need, please contact us.